Hello everyone, it's Steamboy27. Welcome back to Let's Play Jade Cocoon. We're not yet done the game, at least not completely done the game. There's still some things we need to do, and we'll be introducing the extra content for you momentarily. How did you like Jade Cocoon? I know some of you liked it. Uh, I'm not quite sure if all of you did, but some of you did. So, after saving the world, and all that live within it, we have reached the end. We are at the end. Our place is the end. And? I am a Nagi prophet, Lee. I see the future of the world. I bid you welcome to the Temple of Kemdu, the entrance to the stairs of time. I sense you are the cool master of Yes, we saved the world! The stairs of time are the entrance to another dimension. It is said that long ago, during the Age of Chaos, the chosen ones of light and darkness passed through this gate. The time of conclusion. Beyond this gate lies an endless forest. The forest harbors infinite strength and undergoes continuous. There, a truly powerful hunter, such as a cocoon master, shall gain in rank and honor. The weak, however, shall be the power. Just what might lie at the end of the forest? <laughs> it's funny that he asked that. Transcends the self of even eternal suffering. Among the living, no one yet knows. Oh, but we do know, actually. Oh, brave hunter. Oh, mighty Kakuru Master, tell me your name. Alright, so we get another chance to tell him our name, but we can't be anyone but Levin's. We, the storytellers, will pass on tales of your heroes for generations to come. May the winds of good fortune blow. Yeah, I hope they do. Alright, viewers, welcome! to the post-game content of Jake Cocoon, The Eternal Corridor. Welcome to the Eternal Corridor. Yeah, what they said in a very fragmented voice. This is where your true abilities shall be tested. We will help you prepare for your journey. I am Ra. Okay, we know this part. Whenever you... I am Mu. Whenever... Please. Now, now you must pass through the Kumari Gate, which leads to the Eternal Corridor. Oh my god, that audio sounds so bad. Please be careful. We will pray for your good fortune. Ugh. I don't know why it does that there when there's two voices, uh, but it just somehow does. The hardware for this game is a little buggy. It's an earlier game on the PS1. Wasn't exactly threaded out. And this emulator isn't perfect too, even though it claims to be. There are some things it cannot do. So just, so just do that. Alright, so welcome. <clears throat> We're back here again. However, things are a little different. We no longer have a mission. Instead, we can go through... A forest that never ends. Prep. So let's see. The she Moo has new items. Um, <clears throat> she has every single item that you should have been able to buy previously. Every single one. And like the thunderbolt is here now. Tsunami's here. Spring blossom is still there. And now there's another one <clears throat> called the icicle. This is a, the second katana in the game, and it costs. 999,990 yan. Um, I'm not going to get this sword, but it looks like Sephiroth's Masamune. Uh, Muramasa. Ma it's Masamune, excuse me. Um, and, um, it brings the enemy down to 1 HP with one swing. Yeah. It's worth it, but at the same time, not worth it. Alright, so here we go. We have all the armor previously gotten. There's Raketa's garb, you can actually buy that now. Uh, there's Nagi, the Nagi Garb, and the reason I wasn't so, uh, concerned about the Bloody Garb is because we can buy it now. So let me just buy that Bloody Garb now. I love the Bloody Garb. 
Alright, got that. And we will ready it now. So, we go Nagi Garb, Navy Blue, Forest Garb are still here. And there's not much to do with armor. Armor is a little weird. But, we have new beads. We have the blue bead, the green bead, and the red bead. As well as the chokers, and a super choker. Um, that is actually kind of useful. I'll take that. No, I will not ready it now. And I'll get the rest of the beads. The blue bead. And the green bead. And the red bead. So there you go. We have a bunch of new stuff here. And that icicle is pretty cool. But uh, we're not going to get that. No, sir. Not in my life. Same things here. We got pretty much everything. Uh, she has all of the seals, all the blessings. Not much has changed there. And Ra does the same thing as she usually does. And look at this garb. It looks so good. It's like really dark. I like I like it a lot. Unfortunately, the bloody garb... It's a little slow. So let me see. Where's, where's the little bird? There you are. I'll take that. We have the Sparrow Ruff, Bloody Garb, and Little Bird. So we're pretty much a tank. We can do what we want. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's get close to the camera so you can see this. Yeah, look at that. We uh, got a nice uh, purplish blue and a red combo right there. It looks really good. So here we go. Let's take a look at this Eternal Corridor. Now, what we're probably going to do with this Eternal Corridor, because it's not actually endless, it just has 999 halls. Someone has actually gotten to the end of this, and at the end lies nothing. The game actually crashes before anything else happens. So, the ending is bittersweet, and means nothing. Oh, wow, the design of the back looks nice. And so it's not really worth it. But there are some new monsters here, and until we start repeating them, uh, we'll just keep going, I guess. Ooh, like this guy. This is a Tarunga. Cool. Yeah, there's a bunch of monsters in the game we have yet to get, and this is where we'll find all of them. Honestly, most of them are color swaps, but there is one monster I would like to meet up with. And I would like to get to the end of one corridor. These guys are pretty powerful. Ha! What you got, son? I'm gonna defend and get some mana back. This is this kind of tactic is uh, pretty necessary for uh, dungeons like these. Because the corridor is literally endless, you need to make your way with all the resources you have in one trip. Going back to the beginning means you start all over again. Alright, level up. Cool. Now we can choose to go left or- Oh, I killed that thing, didn't I? I wanted to catch it. Oh, whatever. There, there's another one. Come here, buddy. There you go. Alright, so, let's see. Power normal did enough to weaken it, let's get it leveled up, so I guess two normals would do it, two fangs. I did how much, oh that's a lot, of, that's a lot, hmm. maybe I should just uh, attack it normally, yeah we'll be fine, we can attack twice, ooh baby, now what I like about the bloody garb is that it's very defensive, you have no magic defense, and you have a little less speed, but you have a lot of defense. And because of that, we can use weapons like the Little Bird and accessories like the Sparrow Ruff to make ourselves a tank. And uh, a very fast tank in respect to a tank. And we can heal our monsters whatever we like because the Eternal Corridor is... Well, it's going to be too hard for you to do anything by yourself. There, You cannot solo the Eternal Corridor unless you have the Icicle. In which case, you have already spent all your time on this game and should probably stop playing the game. But this is not a video telling you to stop playing a video game. Keep playing this, play this game. But I don't want any of you guys getting to the 999th corridor because that would be just plain silly. Now let's see, minion list. Yeah, see, there's like three pages of this. I'm not even halfway done, viewers. And I don't think I'm going to be done. Alright, so let's see, did I? I'm still in corridor one, son of a- I don't want to fight you, get out of here. Uh, let's see, let's get to the- oh my god, there's a lot of these things. The music is fantastic though, I love the tribal drum, I like all, a lot of stuff about this, it's pretty cool. Aha! Oh no! 
Oh, this is a dead end. Yeah, there's a lot of forks in this in this place, and if you take the wrong fork, you'll end up walking into something. You'll uh, have to go all the way back, so yeah, there's another way to extend the time you're in a corridor. It's not very fun, but yes, let me tell you that. So, due to the fact that this corridor is eternal, and the fact that there's way too many monsters for me to even account for, I will probably... I'll probably stop, stop this let's play once we reach the end of one corridor and show you a nice little feature that the game has to offer. I mean, maybe someday I'll get bored and do this on the side. There are other things in this game that I would like to do, um, and it, it just piles up on the list of post-game content I need to cover, like Boktai, or things like things to that nature. So, we already have a Terberker, so no need to get that. Terberker. Yeah, we already- yes, I know I've already gotten you. I already know that. Okay, cool. Excuse me, I need to- I gotta- I think I gotta sneeze. Hold on a second. <laughs> Alright, cool. Unsneezified. Um... I might- There are two secret monsters in this game that require a very complicated form of merging. It's pretty ridiculous, and... We've already passed the point in which we can use them. I don't, I don't like getting those monsters because they're secret monsters. However, they, they are not noteworthy of anything. They are not stronger than any average monster. In fact, they may be weaker in some aspects because some of the fusions involve uh, crossing elements. So there you have it. We'll do that some other time. I plan on doing all the post-game content for a bunch of games um, during the summer, when I have more time to just fiddle around and grind and play video games whenever I want. Which I cannot do now, by the way. Uh, I'm just getting my videos out daily, once a day. At the same time, studying, playing other games that don't require recording. Studying. Studying it more. Which I need to do more. I should be. I'm falling behind. But this is not... Oh, oh, there we go. There he is. This is Paju... Paluja. And he is a... He is a monster. And son of a gun. Um... What do I do here? Um... Let's strategize. So, as you can see, this guy's a little special looking. He looks like a panda. Or some other such. So let's see what we can do here. I want to... Use Diva Mal... Diva Malti? Ah, oh, crap, this is the wrong one. Reduces the effectiveness of Earth. Crap, um... That means... Oh, okay. That means we're fighting this guy the hard way. Without, a, without anything like that. We cannot capture Paluja. We can only defeat him. And Paluja is not that strong, but he can become strong. Let's see what we can do. Let's try a uh, fang attack. Oh. Woohoo! Yeah, baby! Wow, I wonder what he's trying to do. Is that a critical attack? And there we go. Paluja is down. So, I'm sure you're all disappointed by the display Paluja has given you. But there is a reason why we fought him. And it's to get... What? Um... What the... Didn't I... Did I not? Hmm. Looks like we'll be here for a little longer, I guess. I... Hmm. Odd. Alright, there's some more monsters here. But... I don't really want to deal with this. I want to do this a... I want to make this a one video thing. Why would I waste more of your time? Yeah, these guys are here. They're water types. I uh, really don't want to waste time with them right now, because we've lost most of the point of the video. Uh, not the video, of the Let's Play. And we have we have pretty much, we pretty much, uh, got, I've gotten the point across. So let's see if we can get what I want, because I want to show you. 
we can get from ah there we go this one will work all right here's another one ticker yeah we cannot capture him but he looks silly he looks he's got a frog skin just like how Paluja had a panda skin this guy has a frog skin so let's see what we can do against him let's uh, kick his ass first oh okay cool all right dude Maybe he was really fast or something. There we go, and we get his pelt. And that is what I wanted to see. Okay, so let's go back. And uh, we'll... Let's see if I can look at it here. Do I have it? Maybe it's in my valuables. No, not here. Wait, is it... Hmm. Uh... It's hidden, but oh well. Uh, no, you got it. Just know you have it. So when we go back to the Eternal Corridor and visit Ra, we can use that pelt to uh, some effect. And we'll show you right here. Uh, I'm not very fond of the Ticker skin. I would have rather had the Paluja skin, but oh well, at least you get to see something. So let's show you this. If I can just talk to Ra. Let's perform some magic and finish off this Let's Play. Hi. Sometime in the near future, I'll show off those two secret monsters and how you get them, but not now. Not now. Alright, so here we go. Let's try m merging some monsters together. What did we just fight? We fought a... fought a Turunga. So let's combine it with Tufraid. And, yes, you have minion skins. Something extraordinary might happen if we use them. So let's use one, and we'll use the Ticker skin. And this is what the, it will look like. It'll look like that. So now our uh, Terfraid looks like it's a cross between Kermit the Frog and some sort of wolf buck thing. Anyway, so we got it, and that is how skins work. So by going through the Eternal Corridor, you'll fight numerous amounts of odd looking monsters, and when the boss music plays, you'll know that that is a monster you can skin. And uh, while it does not increase the stats of your monster, it does make them look really cool. Let me know. Now remember, the skin is not permanent. It'll only work once per merge. So every time you need to get, every time you merge and want the look back, you need to go back into the corridor and kill it again and get its pelt. But you won't be merging that much. I mean, right? So there you have it, viewers. This has been Let's Play Jay Cocoon. We're in Corridor 2. Wait, 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 wait. Do I start in Corridor 2? Wait, are you serious? Please tell me I don't, because I missed a monster. Come on, don't do that to me. I really don't want to have to go back and get that monster. Oh, come on. I Just because I got lazy once. Corridor 2? Corridor 2. Corridor 1. Yes! Okay, good. We're fine. We're fine. Alright, so, next time, we'll play a different game. Uh, a sequel to a game we played already. This is Steamboy27, wishing you all a brighter tomorrow. Have a good day.